All right, everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and start something a little interesting. I've seen this done a million times. We're going to go ahead and compare the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, the A15 Bionic, and the Google Tensor chipset, and just kind of compare some loading speeds here and there. Now, this is probably going to be a train wreck. All the apps are cleared out in the background, as you guys can tell. And I don't know how I'm going to do this with one person. I probably should have got another person to help me with this. But regardless, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and try doing the Google Play stores. Let's try it like this. Three, two one there we go kind of worked out so it kind of looked like the google play store on the tensor chip kind of won there a little bit it could have been me clicking it for the first time right there these were on different panels scrolling through i don't really think there's going to be that big of a difference to be honest and you can see i mean both are doing very well the 13 does not have a 120 hertz refresh rate i think the google pixel 6 has a 90 hertz and this one has 120 hertz but both are looking pretty good there if i go and close out of all the applications right here i can tell you they both kind of closed out around the same time too if we go and load up something a little bit more intensive, I do have games like Genshin Impact, for example. There we go, Genshin Impact finally loaded up for me. It took like 45 tries, but this is a little bit of a bigger game. They're both on the same exact version for the most part. I've already opened up and loaded everything that needed to be loaded up in the background as well. And it looks like the A15 Bionic loaded that one up first, followed by the Tensor chip, followed by the Snapdragon HN1 chipset. So. Very interesting, the little bit of a variation that we had there. Hopping out of this one, let's go and see how fast it takes to load up another big game. So I think we have Call of Duty Mobile on both. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll this one over here. So let's try Temple Run 2 right now. Let's see how this one will work out. Three, two, three, two, one. And it looks like the S22 is the faster one, the Snapdragon HN1 followed by i think the a5 the two the google tensor chipset and then the a15 bionic was the last one and very interesting between all of them now i want to click the play button at the same time as well to see if there's a difference it's a big play button so it shouldn't be that hard to click it three two one get into another thing so let's click it again three two one and the a15 bionic i don't know what was going on there I had to click it twice and even then it glitched up but regardless, it looks like the gameplay wise is probably going to be roughly around the same. I don't think we're going to run into any problems here. Let's hop out of this one. I will say the A15 Bionic sometimes is glitching up a little bit for me, but it's not a crazy big deal. We can try something basic like their phone call application. Three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing too, not a big deal. We can try the camera application as well. Into photos, let's see what how long it takes to take a photo. Well, I guess. Clicking into these ones, I'm sure there's not going to be too many differences, although the loading animation of the I of the Pixel Tensor chipset was a little bit different there as well. I also want to go ahead and download a basic application from the Google Play Store just to see if there's any differences. Now these two, you know, they're going to take something from the network speed, so that's probably a big thing to keep in mind. But I want to go ahead and download something like Among Us, for example. So if we go and click here, if we click here, this one should already be installed. If we go and click here, I want to go and click install at the same time and see basically what happens. So if we go and click install, I think maybe this one kind of double clicked on it by accident in the first place. This one has already been pre-installed, I would assume from my Google account, but you can see that they're all downloading around the same time. I don't think again, we're going to be seeing too many differences. A15 Bionic loaded up first. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 went to installing first, followed by the Pixel Tensor chipset. Google Tensor chips, I don't know why I keep saying Pixel Tensor. They, they kind of open up now. I want to go ahead and open all these up at the same time. Three, two, one. And funny enough, it went into this order. So the Google Tensor chipset loaded up first, followed by the A15 Bionic, followed by the Snapdragon HN1. I've also done several different performance, I would say, you know, gameplay wise between all these phones. And I pretty much found on heavy intensive gaming, all these phones do really well. You know, my Google Tensor chipset did pretty good on Genshin Impact. I was on higher settings there as well, and it did a pretty good job. Battery drain was expected, but this was early on when I actually had that phone, and even now it still performs fairly well. The iPhone 13 on the A15 Bionic, I will say, has also done fairly well when I was running those bigger games. Things like PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, you know, same exact thing with Genshin Impact. Very good performance from that phone, but my Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 has done a, an exceptional job on some of these phones that I've had. I think with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 
with everything considered with this phone, I've had a great you know experience with it. And I will definitely say when it comes down to gaming, you can't really go wrong with either one of these. I think the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 may do the best when it comes down to gaming, followed by the A15 Bionic, followed by the Google Tensor chipset. So that's kind, of, that's kind of how it's some of this whole entire you know comparison in my opinion. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.